Well, as fall creeps closer for the Twin Tiers, and certainly that forecast has us feeling like fall, other parts of the country are already seeing winter-like conditions. But is it too early to start forecasting for our own winter? Well, WENY meteorologist Connor Friedhoff spoke with the National Weather Service to understand how the winter season is looking so far. Good evening, Connor. Not a handful of high elevation counties in and around Montana's Glacier National Park were put under a winter weather advisory on Wednesday in anticipation of isolated heavy snowfall. And though we're several months out from the first day of winter, there's plenty of time to speculate on the possible intensity of our own winter. And one of the main factors that experts will look at when predicting this year's winter is the water temperature in the southern Pacific. On August 15th, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that a La Nina was favored to develop during the months of September to November and continue and persist into the new year. Even though we're looking at a, a potentially warmer and wetter winter than what we normally see, there's, there still can be some snow and ice throughout the course of the winter with the snow perhaps starting as early as late October and November is traditionally when we see our first snowfall or two across the region. Uh, so we need to be mindful that, that even though we're expecting wetter and warmer than normal conditions, uh, that, that winter weather uh, still may occur. And we're still several months out from the winter season. So there's a lot of other variables in addition to that La Nina that come into play as well. Now projections are likely to shift slightly the next several months, but if the La Nina holds, we can expect a winter with marginally above average temperatures and precipitation, along with the occasional cold snap and winter storm. Renata?